Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to crochet the herringbone double crochet. This is a great stitch to produce a nice solid piece of fabric that isn't too dense or too firm. It still has a really nice drape and it gives you the most amazing stitch pattern and stitch definition. This makes it great for projects like baby blankets or something like a washcloth where you don't just want to work plain old double crochets. For this tutorial, you are going to need a crochet hook in the correct size for your yarn, a crochet hook two sizes bigger, some scissors and a tapestry needle to sort those ends. So without further ado, grab your hook, grab your yarn and let's get crocheting. I'm going to be using double knit yarn for this tutorial. Normally I would use a 4.5 millimeter hook for the starting chain and a four millimeter hook for the rest of the work. I find with herringbone double crochet that the work pulls really tight on the starting chain in that first row. So therefore I am going to be using a five millimeter hook to work my starting chain. You want to make a slip knot and chain any number of stitches. This pattern doesn't need a particular stitch repeat. You just chain as many as you want to make your project the right width. I'm just making a small sample today, so I'm going to go ahead and chain 20. Once you've finished your starting chain, you want to take out the larger hook and swap it for the hook size that you want to use for the rest of your project. We're going to be working into the starting chain that we made, starting with the third chain from our hook. And we're going to work a herringbone double crochet, which is a slightly modified double crochet. So just like with the double crochet, you are going to yarn over. You're going to find the third chain from your hook. Don't forget this loop here doesn't count. So you want to count three of the loops hanging on your chain and pop your hook into that third chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop so you have three loops on your hook. And unlike with a double crochet where you would now yarn over again, you are going to pull the loop that you've just pulled through over that yarn over that you initially made. So you go from three loops on your hook back down to two loops on your hook. Then you want to yarn over and pull through one so that you have two loops on your hook still. And then yarn over and pull through both loops to end up with just one loop on your hook. To show you again, I want to yarn over, pop your hook into the next chain along and draw up a loop. Draw that loop behind the yarn over you created. So you go from three loops on your hook to two, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. One last time, yarn over, pop your hook into the next chain along and pull up a loop. Pull that loop behind the yarn over and through. Then yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through two. And you want to repeat that until you have one chain left unworked. And for the last stitch, because herringbone double crochet obviously leans quite heavily to the left, which is our aim, if you worked a herringbone double crochet into the last stitch of the row, you end up with wonky edges. They don't 
lie straight, which isn't ideal if you're wanting to add an edge or something to your project. So you want to finish your row with a half double crochet into the last stitch of your work. And then for the second row, our repeat row, you want to chain two and turn your work. The chain two counts as our first stitch, so you don't work into this last half double crochet that we created. Instead, you want to go straight to the next half, um, herringbone double crochet that we worked, and you want to work herringbone double crochets all the way along until you have worked into every stitch along and you are left with the chain two at the beginning of the previous row. And just like we did when we worked into the starting chain, instead of working a herringbone double crochet into the top of this chain two turn, we're going to work just one half double crochet and that will help to keep our edges nice and straight. And you repeat that row over and over, remembering to start each row with a chain two and finish each row with a half double crochet into your chain two turn. Once you've worked several more rows in your project, you will end up with a piece of fabric that looks like this. You should hopefully have nice straight edges. If you find that your edges are pulling in a little bit and they are not straight, then you could swap the half double crochets for double crochets. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on your individual tension. And that's how you crochet the herringbone double crochet. You could combine rows of this with single crochets, with double crochets, with some camel stitch to give a bit of interest, let your imagination go wild and have some fun. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and I will see you again for another video soon. Bye.